Hello, all you crypto people, and Merry Christmas. Yes, we're here to say a congratulations to many coins and for many people making it past 2023. The beginning of the year looked really bad, but we smoked them at the end of the year, and we're up to 45K. So we're here to say the congratulations to all the coins. Congratulations, Bitcoin. You put in ordinals, and despite the disaster that uh, that became, you are still more than twice what you were at the beginning of the year, pulling the rest of the market up with it. So congratulations. Ethereum, you too. You pulled up from $1,000. Now you're at $2,293. You should apologize to your users because now it costs a bundle to actually make a transaction. It'll cost ever more as the market goes up. Solana, congratulations. You have more than quintupled your yearly low. People are making it very, very rich off Solana. And congratulations to all of um, the meme coins on Solana, which are making a very, very pretty penny. Bonk, Myro, and all the others, boosting that Solana up. BNB, you survived. No matter what Gary Ginsler and the DOJ threw at you, you did not go down. And you are still the world's biggest exchange. And now that you're out of the United States, they may not bother you anymore. So congratulations, BNB. XRP, congratulations. You actually hit and are going probably going to end the year above 0.589. So you hit your goal, 58.9 cents. You got your 589. You're probably not going to go up too much more than that. So XRP investors might be sad, but you at least are going to end the year above 0.59, which was your glorious goal in the first place. See, 589 didn't actually mean $589, not $5.89, but 58.9 cents. So you finally got to your goal. Cardano, you have more than doubled your low price, and you are doing very, very well. ADA, uh, the ecosystem is growing. More people are locking in. And of course, you know, it took you a couple of years, but you got all the parts of uh, Cardano and Shelly, Gogan, Basho, and now almost Voltaire. Doge, awesome, keep going. And you are way, way up on where I bought you at six cents. And we are waiting Elon Musk to make his prophetic move to get Doge back up. Tron is, is Tron. Uh, you know, Justin Sun's not arrested, so I guess you have something to celebrate. Link has gone way up. And of course, you know, getting into RWAs, very, very Merry Christmas. Same thing with Polygon, ARB, and uh, Optimism. You know, Ethereum is going to bless you in this new year because Ethereum is going to get jammed. And Layer 2 is probably the first place that people are going to go. Shiba Inu, you have a little bit of working on to do, but I think you will ride the Doge wave. IMX, you are doing very, very well right now. You recently had a lot of pumps, plus your uh, partnership with Ubisoft and others have people rocking. Nier has come up a lot recently and got that Santa rally, so people are sitting pretty with Nier right now. Ethereum Classic still sucks, so you don't get a Merry Christmas. HBAR moved up from $0.05, cents, doing very well. Ecosystem hopefully expanding. Same thing with VET, more than double your bottom right now. Also, KS, massive pump. People probably made 100x from you. Very, very nice. And of course, Snack. People made a lot of money from Snack, slithering its way up the ranks, man. Pretty, pretty good. And of course, everyone else besides everyone else, has moved up as well, so we got to say congratulations and Merry Christmas to a above $1.5 trillion market cap, to Bakuli winning once again in El Salvador, and also to possibly Argentina and Taiwan maybe adopting Bitcoin, and Brazil as well. So Bitcoin is making good inroads in all these countries. So Merry Christmas to everyone. I bet 2024 is going to be great. But now... MEXC might actually have a problem. More and more people have started to depend on MEXC, so I do have to report on this. They are urging Com over a deleted CEO account amid reported withdrawal issues. 
So I don't really know if the feds are going after them or what's wrong with MEXC, but if you have a deleted CEO account and you have withdrawal issues, then you might just have a problem. So I actually urge people to try to get money off of MEXC and only use it for trading. I never really trusted this exchange too much. I haven't heard like huge bad things about MEXC, but you know, they're not really like um, approved anywhere really. I mean, they're not approved in the United States, so I never really used them. And there have been issues here and there from, but this deleted CEO account might be an insider hack or something, which would be really, really bad for your crypto account. So they're trying to clamp down the speculation over a recently deleted X, formerly Twitter account, under the name MexC CEO, which some had feared could be a sign of trouble at the firm. You know, it's weird how unless like the feds are going after you, you really shouldn't have trouble at the firm. Even when the DOJ was suing the hell out of Binance, they did not. De it's not like CZ deleted his account over at Twitter. So this could signal some trouble. Of course, Mex, OC, Mex C CEO could actually just like be been accidentally deleted or may not have been just their CEO. But people obviously assumed it was their CEO. So Mex C is... Clarification on Twitter, Mexi said clarification on the recent Mexi CEO Twitter account confusion. Recently, there have been rumors on social media about the Mexi CEO Twitter account. We're sorry for any confusion caused by this incident and would like to clarify the following timeline of the Mexi CEO account. Um, in the early stages of Mexi's global market development, Mexi platform did, did use the Twitter account Mexi CEO for promotion and maintaining brand image, engaging, engaging with users and project partners on Twitter. So like in July 2022, the original CEO left the position. In December 2022, about a year ago, the original CEO officially resigned from Mexi. Uh, the Twitter account Mexi CEO was never officially verified by Mexi platform. And due to its minimal content and followers, Mexi did not make a specific announcement because I guess not many people were following it until it got deleted today. December 2023, fans reported the deletion of Mexi CEO Twitter account. The individual associated with this account has no actual connection with Mexi. So they're saying that this is a CEO that left over a year ago and he does not have any connection with the um, account anymore. But those pause withdrawals could cause could be a cause for Wasern. A concern. In the future, Mexi will handle such events more cautiously, and we have reflected on made the following improvements. We've removed all inactive tweets from the former CEO with no further explanations to avoid additional misunderstandings. Going forward, we'll make public announcements of all significant personal changes involving the official media accounts. All official media accounts at Mexi platform are verified by Mexi official verification platform. So, all um, basically, like the CEO account has nothing to do with Mexi, and they're telling you to calm down. But, you know, there's a little bit of smoke here, so there might be a little bit of fire. I would uh, be a little bit careful. The account deletion added to already heightened fears that the crypto exchange could be troubled after several traders reported their accounts were frozen from as early as December 16th. So it's been about 10 days, and some people's accounts have been frozen. That's obviously more concerning than the Mex C CEO account. So, you know, I would kind of be careful at Mexi. So for people that are using Mexi that have their uh, accounts frozen, I guess it's not a very great Christmas, but hopefully Santa will give you your money back. And of course, they're just see, saying on Twitter that they've never had an official CEO account, but having your CEO account deleted right now, as people are having some withdrawal issues, obviously it's gonna raise some suspicion not great for the exchange, especially on Christmas Day weekend. Now, thankfully, Christmas Day weekend, generally very, very low volume. So maybe not too many people are uh, logging in. But, you know, if this persists throughout next week, it could be a serious problem. We've seen big exchanges go down before, and many of them do hide their finances until the very end. So we got to be careful about these things. I'm not saying that MEXC is like, you know, scamming out or anything, but I'm saying just like watch out for your money, take it out if you can, keep it in your own wallet. You know, especially if um, the exchange really hasn't been verified or audited or anything, or like, you know, they don't haven't shown proof of reserves or anything, you definitely want to keep your coins in your own wallet and not on the exchange. I know there's like fees and stuff, but if you really want to keep your coins on an exchange, do it with like Coinbase, like Binance or Kraken, especially if you're in the United States. Do it with an exchange with some control because some of these exchanges can go down very, very quickly and you could definitely be out of luck. And I know that some of you are using Mexi because it's the only way you could get certain coins. 
but there are definitely risks involved, especially if you're using it from the United States. And even if you're not, you know, like these kind of exchanges, they can have funny business at any time. So does not look great for Mexi. I wouldn't have a huge cause for concern right now, but I would definitely be watching it. So that's the news for today. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button. Merry Christmas, and I will see you guys later.